we shall next look at find max case study find max case study says we divide the t of n or n into two sub problems each of size uh, n by 2 which we do it recursively and when we get max from uh, the two sub problems we make one comparison and return max for this sub problem so the idea is this you have n which we divide into two sub problems each of size n by 2 then recursively find max from this recursively find max from this then make one comparison that's what this says to return max for this how do you find this when i say recursively this is again divided into n by 4 n by 4 and this is again divided into n by 4 n by 4 so like that we keep doing it when do we stop uh, when the problem size becomes 1 uh, 1 uh, we stop our uh, recurrence this is what we do as part of uh, input size uh, reduction tree we start with Uh, a problem of size n we create two sub problems each of size n by 2 and we further divide that into n by 4 n by 4 and so on we stop this when we see input size uh, is 1 this is what we see as part of uh, input size reduction tree now let's look at uh, the computation tree computation tree will actually calculate uh, how much cost we incur at each stage then uh, the sum of uh, that is precisely the value of uh, t of n so what are we doing we spend one comparison here to compare uh, the max 1 and max 2 max of this and max of this correct so at this level we incur one comparison how do we get this max we compare max we get from this subtree max we get from this subtree we incur one comparison so at this stage it is one and how do we get this max again comparing max of these two we get this so that shows that if you recursively do it at each level we incur one for each node in that level so this node we incur one and this node we incur one and so on and when we go down when the problem size becomes 1 we know that if the problem size is 1 we don't need to incur any comparison to return maximum correct so which means when you have problem size 2 yes we incur one comparison but at the last level when the problem size becomes 0 when the problem size becomes 1 the number of comparisons is 0 for each of them correct so when problem size is 1 we don't incur anything then because this itself is maximum this itself is maximum now we make one comparison to return max of these two we make one comparison to return max of these two so starting from this level onwards last but one level onwards at each node we incur one comparison correct now how many number of nodes are there at each level that will precisely tell you uh, the cost because that into 1 will give you the total cost so at this level uh, number of uh, nodes if you see that will be 1 at this level it is 2 uh, at this level it is 4 the next level it will be 8 so in other words this is uh, 2 power 0 2 power level number 1 2 power 2 which is level number 2 cube again level number so like that it goes at this level this is level 0 like that it goes this is my uh, level k right that's what we usually do right uh, this is uh, level 0 and this is uh, level 1 and this is 
uh, level k correct and what is the value of uh, k at which uh, it becomes n by 2 n by 4 and so on n by 2 power k becomes 1 and we know that it has uh, k is log n base 2 correct so which means at this level last but one level which is 2 power uh, k minus 1 or 2 power uh, log n base 2 minus 1. We incur one comparison at each node and this level uh, there will be 2 power k nodes or 2 power uh, log n base 2 nodes but the cost at this level is 0 and cost at all other levels is precisely 1. And uh, what is 2 power log n base 2? That is precisely n. So, you know that uh, at this uh, level, last level, uh, when we start dividing it, we see a1, a2, a3, a4, so on up to an. So, you see all nodes at this level. But each of them is max. So, there is no cost to return maximum. So, we incur cost only at all other uh, nodes. So, we just have to see how many nodes are there at each level starting from root until last but one. We saw that at the root it is uh, 1 or 2 power 0 nodes. At level 1 it is 2 power 2 nodes or 2 power 1. At level 2 it is 4 square or sorry 4 nodes or 2 square nodes or in other words 2 power level number. At the next level it is 8 which is 2 cube or 2 power level number and so on and until this place it is 2 power k minus 1 or 2 power log n base 2 minus 1. Now we just have to sum this uh, which is uh, 2 power 0 plus 2 power 1 so on up to 2 power uh, log n base 2 minus 1. What is this? This number is uh, 2 power log n base 2 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 divided by 2 minus 1. So, this value is 2 power uh, log n base 2 minus 1. 2 power log n base 2 is n. n to the power, this can be rearranged. This is precisely n power log 2 base 2. You can bring n down and take to the to the top so which is precisely n minus 1 and this is what we derived uh, when we looked at uh, substitution method to solve this uh, recurrence or we know that the number of uh, comparisons to return maximum in an n sized array is n minus 1 and uh, at least n minus 1 and this approach is also giving you precisely n minus 1. So, calculate the cost at uh, each level and uh, sum them, simplify, you get to see the desired result. Now, this answer matches with uh, the answer we got as part of uh, substitution method. Now, we shall look at uh, recurrence tree method for uh, three-way uh, max, uh, three using uh, divide and conquer approach. 3-way divide and conquer approach, what would be the cost of uh, finding maximum?